Chat. Sorry to immediately sniffle at you guys. Chat. Hello. Uh, let me turn my little mic filters on here. I, uh... Well, let's let me bring you guys inside and we'll talk. No, you can come in. It's all right. You don't have to knock. What if I added a little knock sound effect? That'd be funny. Hey, everybody! Tweet, you're so right, Jubity Beat. Thank you so much. When do I ever expect Twitter embeds to work? Wolfins, why not do both? Because Baldur's Gate is a great time. And so is the stream. Oh, wait, hold on. Get over here, guys. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Apple. So, here's the thing. Two things. One, yes, this was supposed to be Pokemon, but I changed my mind. We're doing Stardew. Two, allergies are in full swing, so I'm going to be muting and blowing my nose a lot today. And you can probably hear it in my throat, but man, are my allergies in full swing. It's spring, baby. I appreciate the well wishes, but do not worry. I have had terrible allergies my whole life, so I'm very used to it. It's just this time of year, things get clogged up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I it actually funny enough, if so if any of y'all watched the podcast episode like within the first hour it went up, uh I missed one of my nose rubs, so I apologize. I did in YouTube editor cut it out. So around like 14, 15 minutes, if there's like a weird background glitch, it's because I had to cut it out in YouTube editor. I rubbed my nose so much god so goddamn much in that podcast recording that I missed one of them. Anyway, we're playing Stardew Valley because it updated and I'm so excited. So I wanted to play Stardew Valley. Um, and I'm not gonna delay any longer. This is probably, this is definitely top 10 games of all time for me. I absolutely love this game. So let's just get into it. I do just be rubbing my schnoz for real, for real. Also high obnoxious. No worries, Alice. Welcome, welcome. One of these days, I'll be fast enough to pull off that transition. One day. Is there not options on the main menu? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're doing a new farm, chat. There we go. Huge. There's the music. Oh. If I did it correctly. Which I didn't. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we're going to do the new farm type. 
Um, I think Community Center Bundle will remix them. Mine Rewards will remix them. Uh, Profit Margin Normal. Multiplayer, nah. Yeah, we'll, we'll mix it up. Make it nice and funky. So they added the Meadowlands Farm, where it's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy bluegrass that animals love. And we start with two chickens and a coop, which is awesome. So we're doing that. So let's make our person. There's like one hair that I usually go for. I just gotta find out where it is. Is it this one? No. I think it's this one. It's the animal farm, but not animal farm. The animal farm. Yeah, we're going rancher build. I get that clown. Sure, Delta. What are we feeling? Jacket? I, I, I tend to lean towards shirt 19, this open jacket look. But I feel like he added more. Oh, I do like dark shirt open jacket. Uh, Hamter, you are absolved. The anime dead mom hairstyle? Yeah. <laughs> no worries, dude, dude, a lot. Well, Clownhead TV, this will be a great stream for you because we're starting from the beginning. We're taking it from the top, as it were. I think jacket dark shirt's gonna be the move. Ooh, I do like this button up though. It's a nice gray button up. I usually go for any of the redheads. Um and the gamer girl, I can't remember her name at the moment. I don't like a lot of the bachelors in this game. And like I'm pan, it's not I'm against dating a guy. So a lot of the bachelors are kind of meh. I don't know. Okay, so that's the... Yeah, I think we go jacket, dark shirt. Uh, Hamter, I'm, this is a single player. Also, don't be weird. That's your first warning. Abigail, yeah. Is one that you can make look like an apron if you change the color. Ooh. Oh, what, this one? And then do, like... Like, black pants to, to match it. <laughs> it's an apron dress. Krobus in the sewers. Krobus is a great pick. Super real. I think we I think we go there. Maybe like acid wa acid wash jeans. How do you feel about this? I'm kind of liking the fit. What's the accessory again? Anything like fun? This is just a beak? That's crazy. What even is that? I can't tell what's facial hair and what's just like a weird marking. Oh, is this being tired all the time? I'm kind of liking being tired all the time.
I I'm kind of vibing with just we're always a little tired. Oh, clown spotted, yeah. Did they add more animal preferences? That's crazy. I remember it just being dog and cat. Are there just multiple animals now? That's awesome. Apparently you can also have more pets too. They added, he added so much shit. Ah, sorry, sorry. <sighs> I guess I should do Rye. Farm name. What do I feel like? Do we just do Toast Farm? It was a little on the nose. I feel about like... Bakerfield feels like it is something. Is that like a horror movie thing? No, but it is a real place. Well, welcome in, Gemma. I went at Bakersfield's a town in California. Wild. Y'all like the uh, the farmer drip today? Made sure to put on my best plaid. The new farm is massive. Oh, boy. It said it's not great for growing crops on, so I'm a little confused, but I'm sure we'll see it when we see it. Doe farm? Mm. Loaf? I want it to sound good, though, is the thing. How about Glutenia? How about Glutenia? Glutenia Farm sounds like a real place. <sighs> Tomato? White? Oh. Is it because... Did you say that just because you're going to throw it? You didn't even throw it to me. Oh, wait. All the uh, fucking... Hold on. I'm so sorry. I forgot. All the rewards are paused. Let me unpause all these guys. I had them paused because we did the working stream yesterday. Hey, Martian. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Well, I hope it starts feeling better for you, Gemma. Hey, thank you. Welcome in. Favorite thing. cat already that's crazy favorite thing it's you it says it when we eat something so we'll do we'll do food fucking can't go wrong with some good old mac and cheese huge all right uh oh i gotta change my eye color though
All right, let's hit it. Hey, I'll go grab a cat while the intro starts. I've seen this intro a thousand times. Chat, be nice. Be nice to Grandpa. That's the bet. That bet is the only thing he owns. Hey, well, excited for you, Susanna. I fucking love the Renaissance Fair. Why does Grandpa have a sword? Cause he fought in the war. Hold on, I got, I got this. <clears throat> Dear, a little bit older. Dear I, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of this yeah! in most of your life. Real connections with... Look, it, all right, I'm doing my best here, all right? <laughs> Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride enjoyed Glutenia Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, Say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Wild thing to end your letter with, Grandpa, to be real. I'm sorry, obnoxious, make Grandpa sound like a twink. Uh, if I wanted him to sound like a twink, I would have had you read for him. Also, yeah, Grandpa, just text me. Why are you writing letters? Come on now. Is the bus supposed to be that low in the frame? I feel like the bus is supposed to be a little higher. No, I guess the Stardew Valley sign is centered. That makes sense then. Made improvements to the bus scene. Okay. Robin! What a fucking tragedy. That we can't marry Robin. Legitimately the best mar the best romance option in this game. Also, I'm going to move me so I'm not blocking every single dialogue. I guess I'll just make me smaller. Seems to be the way to go here. Yeah, that works. I'm so tiny now, though. Is this too small? Let me know if I'm too small now. Are you telling me a MILF who knows how to work with her hands? Best marriage option here. Wanted to be with her husband? Honestly, both of them. <laughs> I'll be I'll be in that thruple. Are you kidding me? They're both fine.
Way to fit in that pink tree. <clears throat> Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Yeah, so Robin, nice to meet you. I want to marry you. This is Glutenia Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Put yourself in the corner and make yourself bigger again. Yeah, but then chat's gonna, like, go into nothing. I mean, I feel like you can barely read chat. I need to make chat, like, more legible, I feel like. Let's, let's, let's settle this, yeah? Feels weird being in the top left corner, to be real, but whatever. Chat should cover the entire stream. True. I feel like chat is a legend. Can you guys read chat on screen at all? I think as especially with the like busy background, it's really hard to see. There we go. So you can see it now, but the problem is you take up a lot of the screen. So I'm just going to pull you guys a little bit closer. Wait, chat, we all missed the easy option. Just put me over here, and then I can block a little bit of the box because I won't block the window. Solved. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big <laughs> Why? Also, that is directly over my face. I guess we gotta rearrange everything. Over there you go. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> Little Lewis just made that sound. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. <laughs> I mean, she's right. Don't listen to her, Rai. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her home upgrades. I mean... Any excuse to talk to Robin, I'll take. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, good Mario, Brian, and Sumke. 
Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it like a freak or a pervert. Well, good luck. Rise of Robin Simp? Who is it? I have eyes. <laughs> the abrupt ending to the rooster was really funny. <laughs> Or it's like, she can, she can upgrade my home anytime. Ooh, 15 hay, huge. I don't even get parsnips. That's crazy. Um, okay, let's... Ooh. I'm not like a crazy min-maxer, but I do like to make my life a little, little bit easier. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Go to the new farm? Of course we did. Alright, so apparently... The thing with the new farm is there isn't a lot of land to, like... Plant crops, but you get a coop immediately. Honestly, is this all we get? Because that's not terrible. Let's get a better look, yeah? Oh, there's plenty of stuff down here. Oh, here's that blue grass that animals love to chew on. <laughs> Good, obnoxious. Oh, okay, so there's our cave. How did everybody clock that as a dustpan? I thought it was convincingly a squeegee. Is it because it's too wide? Oh, there's our coop, I guess. I appreciate that there's already a fence there. I like the layout, to be honest. Favorite has been hotel song or character? Character's probably Husk. Song is probably Stayed Gone or Loser Baby. I hope there's a way to... There's got to be like a bridge eventually, right? Oh no, I just can't access that stuff up there. Okay, there's enough land here to be real. I can work with this. It's not like we're going to be... We're going to be focusing on animals, to be fair. I can work with this for sure. Waterfall's cute. We can finally put, um... A coop next to our house without... I don't like Husk's character design, but I like his character. There's a difference. Anyway, let's clear some room for these chucks. Noxious, did you knock off the thing on the counter? Obnoxious cat confirmed, true. Put <laughs> my fucking thing on the counter! <laughs> Chad, I know this is the wrong tool, but I don't want to get the grass around it. I just want to get the block. Huge. What are the names of these chickens? Pat 
pepper. Cute. And so salt and pepper? That's adorable. I love that. We start with a chicken coop. And two chickens. That's crazy good. I usually just let Stardew auto name them for me because I feel like they're so funny. Closeted underscore skeleton just followed hey, on Twitch. Hey, follow closeted skeleton. Uh, th thank, thank you for that, some, some key. Kind of fucking weird, but thank you, I guess. Will the third be Paprika? What is this, Blue's Clues? Is this where the, uh... Wait, what is this up here? Is this where we, like... Talk to our grandpa on you three. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. Oh shit, I can't get that. What if I go up here? Damn it. It's good shit there. This is the uh, totem. Okay, that makes sense. That's 50 wood. Alright, whatever. This will just be the dump chest for now. Yeah! You need a thing. Look, I'll make the chests organized later. I can only do so much immediately. Let's get a little bit of energy. I'm not re-recording it. It will forever be a dustpan. Mama says not to talk to strangers. Whatever, Vincent. Jody, literally every mom in this town is fine, and we can't get with any of them. Jody and Carolyn? We're like, yes, please. <laughs> or their husbands. True. The grandma? Some people. Bookseller? The bookseller. What's this? Man, he had a lot of shit, huh? Now here's someone we can eventually romance. Hey there, Leah. How's it going? Leah is a wonderful option. Starmill Valley, true. <sighs> They're a good starter. I'm trying to think of how we want to line this up. Probably not getting sprinklers um, within spring, so I'm not going to worry about that. If we do five, if we do like a five by five. Maybe a 5x10 feels manageable. We do five beans down the side. That'll clean us out for now. And we can expand. Shit! Can I buy that back? Thank you. Talk to the asshole. What's up, George? I think there's a reason my Hell is Forever goes pretty hard. Hell is Forever is good. Penny, a classic. We love Penny here. Hell's Greatest Dad is definitely like top five for me. Maybe even top three.
Wait, I want to meet you. There we go. Hi, Gunther. The end is bad? I like the finale. The problem with the finale is that... There's a lot of different parts, and only some of them are really good. But the some that are really good are really good. Like, the opening is a little slow, sure. And, like... Happy Day in Hell isn't the greatest song, so the callback to it's whatever. But the middle of the finale is really good. Got some new ideas to sleep on. What the fuck does that mean? What if we want to date Lewis? Why would you? Lewis sucks. Okay, so we can't meet him yet today. Starter stream? You know it. Expect a lot of these. This is this is gonna be the stream farm. Oh, this is Lewis's house. Oh, you know who I've never gone after? Maru seems cool. We love a smart girl. Oh wait. Come here. What's up, Sam? I guess Sam seems fine. He's just kind of basic. I don't know. No finale. I'm talk oh, you're talking about Hell's Greatest Dad. Yeah, Mimsy is annoying as shit. But, I mean, if she didn't interrupt, they probably would have started to fight. So, a, a necessary evil. Hi, Haley. Chat, soul read. If Haley is your favorite bachelorette, you like a partner who bullies you. Also, you're a bottom. Okay, so your sister is not home. I don't know where she is. There's Alex. I knew you were around here somewhere. There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't say that was a bad thing. I'm just soul reading. Ah, uh, here's everybody. Pam, hi. Gus, what's up? Emily, one of my favorites. Love her. We love a weird girl. Chat, say it with me. Chat, say it with me. You can't fix him, and it's not your responsibility to do so. Not seeing enough love for Leah here? Oh, I love Leah. One of my top uh, romance options. But you literally do fix him? That's the thing. I've heard... Uh, maybe he updated it, but I've also heard, like... Unfortunately, once you marry Shane, he goes back to drinking, which is weird. Like, Shane does have a beautiful character arc. Um, But if he's your favorite romance option... I think you need therapy. <laughs> I'm worse hearts, fair. Um, wait, wait, Robin, wait, Robin, wait. Cool. Demetrius. Wait. Where's my emo boy? I feel like I didn't see him yet today. Is he in his room already? Okay, so he's probably by the river. Demetrius also fine. Literally, that whole family's fine. Robin, Demetrius, and both their kids. Because it's Maru and Shane are their kids, right? Harvey? I get Harvey. Harvey's not my type, but I know... I get it, you know? If your favorite Shane, you're either a people pleaser with a complex or an alcoholic. <laughs> True. Who are we missing? Sebastian, not Shane. I keep. I always think his name is Shane. Um, we got almost everybody today. We did pretty good. Murray and Sebastian. 
Yeah, I, I I was thinking Sebastian. I just always mess up his name. Because I'm going to be real. Sebastian doesn't look like a Sebastian. When I see Sebastian, my brain thinks he's his name is Shane. E, so not so not that one then, Jelly. Is it bad my first romance because Abigail? No, Abigail's great. We love a gamer girl. Look, we're playing Stardew Valley. Obviously, we like video games. Is Sebastian then crab? No, honestly, I hear Sebastian and I think of Elliot. Like when I hear the name Sebastian, I think of fucking Elliot. Well, I don't think of fucking Elliot. That's for other reasons. Hold on, we've got new tabs up here. Animals? <gasps> Special items and powers. Oh my god. Huge. Not Fabio? No, I don't think Fabio. I mean, I get it, but I, it's just not what comes to my mind. Thank you, Stream Elements. Right, let's try... Let's start this here for now. Is dark as hell. Need some lights out here ASAP. All right, we might get exhausted, but it's day one, so whatever. 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 We 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 watered our crops. That's the important part. Huge. Fairy already? Blessed run? The Twitch mature content filter censors gay? That's crazy. Streamer luck for real. Field snack, huge. Look, the Nuzlocke streams will continue, Tuxler, but that was a good bit. Honestly, crazy luck for day one. To instantly get some grown crops, we love that. I might sell them directly to um, Pierre just so we can buy more seeds. <laughs> Fair enough, Martian. chest it's oh wait we have sap huge i thought we needed coal i'm, I'm minecraft brained right now this will be our crop stuff and this will be our resource stuff so food and seeds Oh, I'm not planting a tree here, my guy. Gotta be out your goddamn mind. Hamilton reference be like. First of all, problems. I'm kind of annoyed it only got some of my green beans, because now they're not going to be ready at the same time. New sign. Why do I make a sign? 
There we go. All right, let's go talk to our animals. Just don't harvest the green beans. Too late. Where are you inside? Where's... Okay, so where's salt? Oh, I see salt. You're up there. Salt! Hi, salt. Huge. Starting with two chickens is so good, actually. Um, we'll keep one of each, because we don't know what our bundles are yet. Honestly, no. It's fucking parsnips and green beans. We'll get more. I'd rather give us a good head start. We want at least six of whatever we're going to get. Would you do a finishing quest or a skull mine quest? I've never done the skull mine, to be real with you. I've never gotten that far in the game. Maybe I'll let you guys pick who we go after. Because I'm kind of torn. I just like all my girls. Community center for sure. I'm not a monster. Oh wait, gamer girl, gamer girl, gamer girl, gamer girl. Gamer girl spotted. <laughs> She's this way, chat. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I can smell the Diet Dr. Pepper from here. Oh, that's right. I've heard someone was moving onto that old farm. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any gossip in the game? There's two. <laughs> yeah! <one. laughs> you need to be. <laughs> I couldn't have those uh, All right. So <laughs> I need six things. Um, we do potatoes. Potatoes are not a bad idea. Fill that spot with it. And then do cauliflower later. I thought it was funny. Mushroom or fruit cave? This is the correct answer. You almost got me, Sumkey. I used to always pick... Okay, so here's the thing. It's not phrased to you. Do you want mushrooms or fruit? It tells you... Do you want mushrooms or a... A bat cave. And for pretty much my entire career playing this game, since it came out for almost over eight years ago, I thought the bat cave would just spawn bats and you could kill them to get bat supplies. So I never once picked it. And then I was watching a YouTube video talking about Stardew Valley. And it was like, yeah, the fruit cave is really helpful. And I said, the fucking what cave? And I've never looked back. The fruit cave is superior. Yeah, like bat wings and stuff. This game has not been out for just eight plus years. Didn't it come out 2016? 2016 is eight years ago. Or did it not come out in 2016? Or to make wine? Exactly. No, the fruit is so use. The fruit cave is amazing. Um, let's dump all this. Keep the hoe. Right, let's go fishing today. Came out 2016. Thought so. Yeah, it's eight years old. We're old, chat. Well, that's just because it's a great game, Slippery. I remixed bundles, remixed uh, mine rewards. Everything's remixed. Um, Who do we still have to meet, by the way? I forget. Oh, I forgot Maru's a nurse. And she has a job? I kind of... 
I'm kind of digging Mario this time. How many options can I do in a Twitch poll? I guess I can do a straw poll. Let's do that before I forget. And that way I can put it in both chats. Straw poll. Who are we romancing? So, our options. Maru. I'm only putting people who are my type. Leah. Because I also want to enjoy the game. Penny. Sam. Emily. All right, poll has been made. And I'm not doing Krobus because that would take too long. As much as I love Krobus. So, I got so distracted with that. We need to meet. Okay, we need to meet. Marnie, we can stop by. I don't know where she is. Um, wizard. Okay, so where the fuck is the. Where's the child going to be? Wait, where's the poll? I put it in chat. I put it in both chats, so you should be able to find it. It's not, I didn't make like a Twitch poll. I put a link to a straw poll. Look, I love Krobus, but I, I don't want to wait that long to get a, to, to like start like romancing and doing fun options like that. They all go to Pierre's on too. Oh, you're right. It's Pilates day or whatever the hell it is. I forgot it's Tuesday. Yeah, 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 they are. I love that Emily just fucking dancing. Fuck yeah. They are, Marnie. A Emily's... I do really like Emily. Emily and, um, Abigail... Emily, Abigail, and Penny are probably my three most romance options in this game. They're just fun people. Um, old lady... Now, this is Lewis's house. Throwing it back for real? True. Oh, hello, Alex. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> Where is Evelyn? Hi, Sam. Golden Retriever energy. Oh, okay. Here's. Oh, what is what is your name? Jazz. Shy kid. I don't know where Evelyn is, but whatever. I want to go fishing. It's 3 p.m. already. What do I think of Shane? I think Shane has a wonderful character arc that's kind of ruined by his marriage uh, behavior. All right, what are we seeing? Checking the poll results. Let's see. Maru with 15 votes. And Sebastian is second. I guess we're going after Maru. I'm going to have to pull up the wiki page for her because I don't really know what she likes. So her favorite gifts, her loves, cauliflower, huge, easy. But also, battery packs, 
strawberries, rhubarb pie. We have a lot of strawberries. Minor, and then like all the universal loves. Cauliflower is such an early, easy get for her. That's awesome. Battery packs? Yeah, she's a nerd. We love a nerdy. We love nerd girls here. Battery acid. Cauliflower is pretty much the only early game thing. I mean, strawberries. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I showed a lot of good fish. Finally shaved enough to buy me a new rod. Here. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the artificial stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy some of them from the shop once in a while. We love Willie here. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Right, right, Bex, it's like, thank you for giving me this important object that means a lot to you. Um, the moment I can afford a better one, I'm buying one. But thank you for giving it to me now. God, I fucking hate fishing with the bamboo pole. Like, we'll do what we have to, but the sooner we can upgrade, the better. Willie and Linus should be options. True! Willie and Linus should be options. Barely touch thing, I hate it. I Delta Rosa, that kind of sounds like a skill issue to do, though. Don't be impressed. Don't forget the, um... Don't be too impressed by my massive skills. No, <laughs> don't forget the uh, the first catch is always a guarantee. I'm pretty sure speedrunners wait to catch anything until the legendary fish, so it's a guarantee. At least that's what I've heard. All the adults should be an option. True. Crisscross, a big part of it is the rod. If you upgrade your fishing rod, it gets a lot easier. Because um, they'll have a bigger green bar, and then you can have like additional perks. You can slow down the fish movements. So the, the like the it like it's a bit of a skill issue, but the game does get a, a lot easier the more you upgrade your fishing rod. People speedrun funny romance, f funny romance farm game with Gamer Girl. True. Well, you can speedrun. It's less that you speedrun it; it's more that you like optimize it as much as possible to either complete the community center as fast as possible, or I think one of the speedrun categories is like the quickest million dollars you can make. huge energy bar yeah energy bar is huge it's hard to grow the energy bar early though because a lot of the upgrades for your energy bar are just like shit that takes a while to do you know <laughs> hey celebrity you and me both can't wait for zenless zone zero to come out Zenless Zone Zero looks so good. And the moment it comes out, you know I'm going to be down bad for that shark maid girl. She looks very cute. 
I am looking disrespectfully. <laughs> what is you've got some ideas to sleep on me? Does that just mean I leveled up? Because that's the second time. What What is this from? Look up ZZZ Ellen Joe. Like E-L-L-E-N-J-O-E. -E. It's a character from an upcoming game from Hoyaverse. The people who make Genshin Impact and stuff. Um, But it's one of the characters from the game that's coming out probably this year-ish. Um, and she looks very cute. Game looks fun too, but you know. Although, keep in mind, if you're going to play any Hoyaverse games, they are... Um, gotcha games. So, keep in mind, like, they want you to spend money, so if you have gambling addictions, probably don't play them. Shark, shark made, shark made girl, right? Right? You guys see the vision. She's bad. Like, <laughs> basically telling you you unlock new crafting recipes. Okay, that's what I thought. Look as respectfully as you want. I'm looking disrespectfully. Their predatory games are they're so good. I would argue they have predatory practices, but at least Genshin Impact doesn't feel very predatory to me. Because legitimately, if you if you play the game enough, you don't really have to spend money in it. But again, if it's something that like you know you have a problem with, I wouldn't recommend playing any gacha game. Right, Firefox? Also, the animation in, like, every trailer and cutscene I've seen for Zenless Zone Zero is, like, crazy good. I have heard Star Rail and Impact 3rd are way more forgiving than Genshin. Genshin will be like, it's our three-year anniversary, and we're the number one app in the store. We're giving everybody five dollars worth of, of, uh, of our currency. It's like... Man, it could have been a little more. <laughs> like, Meanwhile, Star Rail is like, Hey, we woke up happy today. Here's a free temple. <laughs> like, Yeah, free five star for a non-anniversary. Exactly. Can I meet Linus out this late? <laughs> Slubber, are you talking about the butt FPS game? I guess not even first person shooter. The third person shooter butt game? Is that what you're talking about right now? <laughs> I'm like, look, I get it. I don't I don't think I have the self-confidence to play it. <laughs> For being real. Hi Linus. The what? Obnoxious what celebrity. What's the full name of the game? Put it in chat for people to look it up. It's a game that you're like shooting people, but the camera is like three foot three feet back from your like player, and all the characters are just like girls with nice butts that do respond to you firing your gun. It's crazy. I'm not I don't play the game. I don't have the I don't have the 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 self confidence to play that game in public. Imagine you're playing it on the like the bus and someone looks over your shoulder and they just see ass jiggling. No, thank you. Nick A got us a victory. That sounds right. I 
I will say, a game that had like a, a gotcha game that had like be, a beautiful art style, really fun art direction, but like mid gameplay. Um, fuck, what was it called? Dislight, I think it was D I S L Y T E. It was really fun. Like I played it once. Once I beat the campaign, once I was like, okay, whatever. But like the character concepts were really fun. Man, where it was like um. All the characters were, like, a god from some pantheon mixed with, like, music. It was really fun, but it got kind of boring. TBH. Holy shit, we have eggs on day three? That's crazy. So who are we missing? Evelyn and Clint. Okay, we can do that today. We can't we don't have mayo machines yet, so we'll just sell them as is. It's raining, so I guess we just fish again. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If you're going to play Genshin Impact on your phone, prepare to not have many other games. Because it is like 60, 70 gigs. It is a huge game. Um, probably just play it on a computer. <laughs> I will say, genuinely, as someone who plays Genshin Impact a lot, it's really fun and has a pretty good story. But yeah, the file size on that game is crazy. Nick had a... You know what? Honestly, of all the anime, Chainsaw Man kind of makes the most sense for Nicky. Is it Nick... Nick A? Oh god. I'm not feeling good about this one, chat. Never mind, I'm feeling better about it. No, wait, not feeling good anymore. Wait, we're still back? It's so over? Oh, shit. Yeah, with, with our basic ass fishing rod, it's gonna be rough. Like Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Oh, I love Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. It's a very fun way to speed up Yu Gi Oh! Maybe we just clear out the farm. I don't know if our fishing rod is good enough or I'm good enough with the fishing rod to be able to catch rainy day fish with it. It's Clint. Oh, we just we just need Evelyn. Yeah, without the paint of modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, Yu-Gi-Oh is one of my favorite card games, but fuck is like competitive Yu-Gi-Oh terrible. Like two streams, Tantra? Y'all hit me with it a lot. I need to increase the price. I keep thinking that's Evelyn's house. I think I did limit it so it can only be redeemed so often per stream. But Magic the Gathering is probably my favorite. There's Evelyn. I just love Commander a lot. Um, give someone a gift? Can't do. I don't care what you think about me. Huge. <laughs> I can't believe our only gift we're ever going to give to Alex is just fucking algae. <laughs> the way we just run into... I ran into his house, said hi to his grandma, threw algae at his face, and left. And honestly, I was so real for that.
Guess we'll also hit these up while it's raining. Yeah, here, take some algae. Main deck is Mill with Jace. Nice, nice, nice. What decks have you played? My favorite deck I have ever played, and I played as much as I can. It's a commander deck where the commander is Dina Soul Steeper. Um, kind of niche. She's a, a one green, one black. Uh, I think she's a one three. But her effect is any time I heal at all, I deal one damage to every opponent. So the rest of the deck is healing me as frequently as possible. It's death by a thousand paper cuts, and it's very fun. Not to mention, I haven't put it in yet. I can make a comp... If I put, um... I've, I, if I put, I think, Sanguine Bond? It's the one card... There's a card that every time you heal no every time you deal damage to an opponent you heal for one if i put that card in the deck suddenly my like five commander deck goes to a seven because there's an infinite combo in there veto is in there you know for the double up it's fun because vetoes if i remember he um as he if you heal you deal that amount of health as damage to one opponent so it's always fun to have Vito and Dina on the field at the same time. So that way, I deal, like, one damage to everybody and then five damage to one person. Yes, it just insta-wins. That's, so that's, a, if anyone hasn't, if anyone in the chat doesn't play Magic, there are things called infinite combos. And it's basically, decks, some decks are built to get a specific combination of cards that will just automatically win you the game. Um, I don't like playing them very often, I, be, especially because Commander is more of a casual format. What I want to do is add the possibility. So maybe like once a night it will go off um, of, after playing for like a bunch of rounds. So like I'll put that one card in the, in the 100 card deck that would uh, automatically win me the game. I'll put it in there. So every now and then I draw it and I put um, treasure chest in there. Which, you play it, and you roll a d20, and you do something according to that, and on a natural 20, you just get to pick a specific card out of your deck and put it in your hand. So, there's a chance that one of the times I play this deck, I play that card, I roll a nat 20, and I win the game. Which is based. <laughs> As far as Yu-Gi-Oh goes, um, my f my main deck that I play is Gradles, which is an archetype that essentially you play them face down. So they do two things. One, they synchro summon into a really like beefy monster that just destroys shit on the field. But uh, you play them face down, right? There's, there's Gradle Eagle, Gradle Snake, and Gradle Alligator, I think it is. Uh, hey, Gamer Axolotl. But essentially, you play them face down, and depending on what attacks them, you can take control of a monster. So, like, I think Eagle, if a monster destroys it, you can take control of one of your opponent's monsters. Um, the Snake, or the Crocodile, if a spell card destroys it, you can take control of one of their monsters. And if uh, the snake, if a trap card destroys it, you can take control of one of their monsters. So it's a very fun deck where, like, you play it face down, you kind of hedge your bets, you steal their monsters, and then use their monsters to synchro summon. It's very fun. But the, the limiting factor is my deck is only as good as my opponent's deck is. The nice thing is it gets around a lot of um, cards that have good defense. Because the Gradles, the way they work, they don't target, they equip. And not a lot of a cards, not a lot of cards 
can block equips well. Why is your TV right there? So I can check it and immediately leave. Um, this is going to be a big plant day. We have like 1,100. And I'm going to spend it all. And probably go fishing after with whatever I have left. Go talk to a chicken, shall we? Oh, I have to make a scarecrow for one of my things. Wood, coal, and fiber. Do I have it? Huge. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. What bachelor we're we gonna go for? We did a poll, we're going for Maru. We need a silo ASAP. How long have I been streaming on Twitch? I've been live streaming and trying to make content Technically, since freshman year of high school. I mean, I've been making sketches with friends and our camcorder since, like, elementary school. But I think I was trying to make a YouTube channel as far, like, consistently. Uh, probably since 2012. And I started live streaming probably around 2016. Um, so a long time. Been here since the basement days? Motherfucker, we're back in the basement. <laughs> Clock. I guess we'll fish while we wait. That's why everything is green screen right now, because I don't have a good office space yet. PB underscore the gummy just days. followed enough, on enough. Twitch. Hey, thank you for the follow, PB gummy. Very kind. See, now this is more my speed with the starting pole. Didn't you move a few months ago? Yeah. It was a whole thing. I've talked about it a bunch. Um, long story short, um, we were in our own apartment, and then the floorboards started coming up. So we broke lease and moved into a rental house. And day one, we found out there were roaches in it. So we had to kind of scramble to figure out what to do and we moved back in with uh, Amanda's parents in the meantime and both the original landlord and the landlord of the rental house are trying to hold our uh, security deposits saying that they can use it for their messes and it's like no 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 we didn't cause your floorboards to come up and we didn't cause roaches to be in the house on moving day so we're in like a legal fight to get that shit back and we kind of need those uh, security deposits to down payment anything so we're kind of just SOL floating at the moment. Amanda's family has been very, very kind. Uh, and thank God they have been. But it's looking like we're probably gonna be here until maybe like August. Um, because of that, it, it, we looked at the timeline of things. And by the time all the dust settles and we get both those down payments back, um, we'll, it, it'll probably be around June or July. And most mortgage companies need two years history of self-employment pay. And August marks two years of making money off of YouTube. So, yeah, we're talking shit about landlords. Ideally, if I can earn enough by August then we can just put a down payment and get a house. But we'll see. Because the housing market is also garbage. Worst case, we'll get just get a, like a good rental. Because the nice thing is, now that I've had a full year last year of YouTube, 
I have a tax return that says like, this is what I actually make, which is so helpful for getting an apartment. It just, rental and housing prices are crazy right now. Looking for some legal advice. I recommend short by law by Mike. Uh, I have seen some of those, and I'm also in talks with the lawyer. Yeah, here's open. <laughs> well, thank you, Delta Rosa. <laughs> That's crazy, Alley Cat. Spell Ranch Bonnie Studios. We'll fucking clean it up. Oh, uh, I, I, I kind of figured Gamer X Lottle. I, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to assume, but that does make sense. But good, to, good to recognize you now. Shit, greedy. My mom said just to buy a house. That's a, whenever someone who has not looked at the housing or job market tells somebody like buy a house or get a job, I always tell them, I earnestly beg you try to get a job in today's market because half the time when like someone over 50 or over 40 even is like just get a job they haven't had to apply for a job in years like i legitimately when i got uh laid off from my office job before youtube um i had family members hold on okay we have 11 by 5 three of them are filled so we have eight. We have forty spots. Spots we need. Um. We'll grab a little bit of these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll try to just fill the rest with parsnips because they're cheap. Seems like the move. So six times five. We need thirty. I don't think we can afford it, so we'll just buy them out. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. You remembered that? What do you mean? What did I remember? But yeah, so I had like a, a, a relative of mine be like, yeah, well, if you're not getting jobs, what you need to do is print out your resume and hand it in in person. And I had to explain to him, like, if I do that, that guy is going to say thank you very much. He's going to burn my resume and put me on a list of never talk to again because that's insane behavior nowadays. Nowadays, the only way to get a fucking job is to go to th is to apply for 50 of them on fucking LinkedIn and then do fucking 200 personality quizzes just to never hear back. And the same goes with the housing market where it's like, oh, just save up to get a, a good down payment. And it's like, you don't understand. There are people who say, hey, here's my down payment, here's my mortgage. And then fucking BlackRock or some other company comes in and says, hey, here's all the pa here's the full payment of that house in cash, 20000 over the asking price. And the person just gets fucked over and it gets turned into an apartment. Like, no, everything is fucked. It is absolutely rough out there. Target wanted me to film a mock interview for them where recorded myself responded to their written questions and wouldn't talk to you unless they hired you. That is insane. Also, yeah, simply save up $50,000 as if that's easy. Um, we don't have a lot of energy. Maybe we just clear out some more farm. You know what, why not? Fell out the plots while we have it. Oh wait, that's a food. Come here. You go in here. Oh. I'm like, why isn't it doing anything? Well, I'm working at Amazon because it was real easy to get back in 2020. Yeah, exactly.
And yeah, if you're legally homeless, you have no address. And if you have no address, you can't apply for a job. And if you have no job, you have no money. If you have no money, how are you supposed to afford... Yeah, like, literally, like, the moment you become legally homeless, it is... Everything is stacked on top of it. Oh, wait, hold on. Huge. Hey, big fart. It's almost like we are a rich enough nation that if we appropriately taxed the 1%, we would be able to afford better social services to directly help people. Because when you pay the working class money, that money goes back into the economy, creating more jobs, making the country more money. The United States hates poor people so much, it would shoot itself in the foot before letting any poor person eat a meal. Ugh. Yeah, Gamer X Auto. Um, I, I don't, like, make a huge deal of it, but I'm, I am pansexual and uh, non-binary, so, you know. Ah, commie scary. Exactly. What was it? I think the meme was super capitalism. Where, like, if you described socialism exactly as it actually is, but packaged it as super capitalism, you could convince 70% of the United States to vote for it. Because it's actually a pretty good system if implemented correctly. If we can get multiple cats, I, I say we try to get all three. You, Jojo Mark, yucky. Housing and job market will change greatly anytime soon. Honestly, I mean, it will change eventually. The job market's rough regardless. The housing market, I think it's going to need legislation to change. Um, how soon we get that, who knows. The U.S. is historically very slow on uh, legislation that helps the working class. What was the Bernie quote? Socialism for the rich. Uh, bru brutal, strict capitalism for the poor. Oh yeah, disability assistance is crap. My wife Amanda is... Uh, uh, to her um, mental health is too uh, too much of an effect for her to like work a normal job but because she's able to like feed herself and walk disability services are like oh no that's fucking stupid and in fact what we did pay you after your concussion was too much you need to pay us back I've just accepted that as much as I push for good change in this country, I'm not going to see it in my lifetime, but hopefully I can at least sow some seeds for my kids' generation, you know? Honestly, though, like, me and my wife has ta have talked about it a lot of just, like, maybe just moving to, like, one of the Nordic countries, because they're still capitalist, but they're at least, like, a social democracy, so there's better, like, safety nets and stuff. What was I... We do need to buy seeds with what little... I think I might just... What we can do, we can buy five more beans, and then just sell up parsnips. Might be the move. Jesus, American healthcare shit. Oh, American healthcare is bad. American healthcare is basically a free-for-all. 
that we pay a lot of money for and then pay more money to do. I pay roughly $1,100 a month to get, get insurance for myself, my wife, and my two kids. And we still pay $50 every time we go to see a doctor. A doctor that is in network. If we go to a doctor that our insurance company doesn't talk to, we have to pay $80. You know, healthcare is absolutely atrocious in America. Not only do you need to pay for insurance, you still also need to pay for the healthcare. Insurance only covers part of it. Deductible, exactly. So my mo yeah, most people don't use ambulances. When my wife got a concussion at work, literally, like, through her, like, half-concussed mental state, she had to, like, yell at her coworker to not call an ambulance. Because she was like, I'll call an ambulance. She's like, no, I told my husband he's coming. Do not call me an ambulance. We can't afford it. Because I think it's, like, a $1,000 a mile or something like that. It's something crazy. Oh, yeah. By the way, that $50 to go to the doctor, that's if $50 if nothing is wrong. Like... God forbid if something's wrong. That's the it's the fifty dollars to get into the door. Yeah, I'm down bad for Mr. Light. What does that have to do with this? Oh yeah, glasses are insane. I, unfortunately for a lot of y'all, have uh, almost nearly, I have nearly perfect vision. I think 1920. <laughs> you were in the past. <laughs> Fair. Five ads? That's crazy. True obnoxious. Um, where? Do I have to wait for the note to talk to the wizard? We should definitely work on getting a silo too. Let me stop by Robbins and see what we need for that. I do not remember. Why isn't dental care why isn't dental care free? Of course not. It's the same shit. The, I will say dental insurance is generally cheaper, but it's still something you have to pay out of pocket for. Hit. Okay, so that's a mine thing, but gold isn't an issue. We need a hundred stone, ten clay, and five copper. Ten clay is going to be the hardest bit of that, so we got to make sure our shovel is on hand at all times. Alright, so we... Five bean starters.
four parsnips. And then I, I think it was like three more. We'll do that. We'll, we'll see if we need to come back for more seeds. Correct, crisscross. You saw you figured it out. Huge. I used my brain. Let's go. chicks today? I didn't. Let's go do that. Where are you? Salt and pepper. Babies. Hey, did you? Well, welcome. Maybe I keep the normal eggs to eventually mayonnaise. So we always have those going. Yeah, starting music is so nice, for real. Starting music is just good, period. Like, it's just something I listen to a lot, just working. Like, the lo-fi remixes are nice, but sometimes I just want starting music. What's something you hate about the school system? Uh, it's not to educate. The U.S. school system is primarily to focus on gaining funding for the school. And the byproduct of that is that teachers have to teach for the test and not teach to educate. Honestly, that's not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue with the education system in America, by far the biggest issue, is that the funding for a school is directly received primarily by taxes of said community the school serves. Which means the worse off the community the, the worse off the community is, the less funding the school gets. Do you see the cycle? Your community is already downtrodden. Your community cannot afford high taxes, so the school doesn't get as as good of funding as other schools. Because the school doesn't get great funding, the students don't get a great education and they're not prepa they're not prepared well enough for a future life. So when they go off and get jobs, the jobs they can get will pay less. And this cycle will never ever end. All schools should be federally funded the same amount proportional to the student body. The fact that it isn't this way is a direct result of racism. Straight up. It goes right down to redlining. It's not an accident that it works that way. It is working as intended. Stardew Valley stream is spicy. I mean, we got to talk about something. It's fucking Stardew Valley. <laughs> 
It's it's the Stardew Valley has a lot of time to talk. Have you seen the new game called Suck Up? No, I've not. Correct, Martian Rival. Rain, we love it. All right, Willy. Hey, there we go. Talk to that wizard. We've got to talk to the wizard. Which is probably also why there hasn't been sure reform across the board. No, because to the politician eye, there is nothing wrong with the system. It's working as intended. It's why police reform is such a challenge in the U.S., because as far as politicians are concerned, the police are functioning exactly as they are supposed to. The whole system needs to be done away with and built up and rebuilt from the ground up. Mr. Toast, what's redlining? I'm glad you asked. So, redlining dates back a long time ago. Um, like the 60s. <laughs> uh, but uh, it, it it's... Even if it's technically illegal to continue doing, the roots of the problem were never fixed on purpose. But essentially, the idea was back around, I want to say the 50s, 60s. My dates might be inaccurate, so correct me if I'm wrong. And if I say anything wrong, chat, feel free to correct me. Um, I'm not an expert on this stuff. I just try to educate myself as best I can. Um, but essentially, redlining was the practice where um, neighborhoods and district maps were kind of chalked up by racial, uh, like, by racialized groups. And once you kind of were able to chalk up, oh, this minority mostly lives here, this minority mostly live here, white people mostly live here. Once they were able to figure that out around the 1930s, that sounds better. That sounds more accurate. Once they were able to map that out on a chart, the people who were giving mortgages would keep it that way. And once you could get, once the people who were making these district maps could make sure that people of a certain ethnicity could only live in one location, then when they're divvying out funding to make neighborhoods better and fund them and be able to repair roads and fix street signs and shit, they can specifically divert funds to the neighborhoods that only have the ethnicities they like. It, it, redlining is like the basis for a lot of environmental segregation. Um, and the lifeblood of that still lives today with like putting new highways that divide neighborhoods and choosing to place a factory near primarily uh, minority lived in neighborhoods. That it will ruin the air supply. But the people who put the factory there don't give a shit. Hey, Fal, welcome. <laughs> we're talking. It's Stardew, so we're talking. Oh shit, Tandra, your clean it up didn't go through. I fixed it so it should now, but I, I refunded you. No worries, Sumkey. Oh yeah, I'm not saying rural areas are better off by any means. Rural areas also have plenty of issues. I mean, the, the drug use in rural areas is already a huge problem. Hey, my K, welcome. We have to wait, like, two days, right? 
We have to wait. We have to wait. I'm pretty sure until we can read the Junimo stuff. I'm gonna be real. I usually skip this cutscene. That's what I mean. That's what late nights are for. Yolo cosplay. All right, no worries, Tendra. Good luck with the homework. Well, also, why is there a wizard? He lives in the woods. You know, as wizards do. You can do it right away. Maybe I'm thinking of you have to wait. Uh, you have to sleep a night for the wizard to send you a letter. Pretty much, Sky Mallory. Pretty much. Hope someone gets that reference. I did not. I just kind of looked past it. Oh, cool. So we can read it immediately. Thanks, wizard. Let's go see what our initial bundles are. We remixed them. Woo. Oh. On a lighter note, what did everybody have for dinner today? Fennec Flair rice just huge. followed on Twitch. Hey, thank you for the follow. Did you have anything with the rice or just rice? Dino nuggets, huge. Burgers, big bowl, plain white rice. Honestly, valid. I I I get called weird, obnoxious. We're kindred on that. I get called weird. I love plain white rice, man. Like, yes, it's good to put shit in it and like do stir fries. All that's great. It's hard to beat a bowl of plain white rice. Um, we had leftovers. Yesterday I made a We we do HelloFresh two nights a week. Um and we order double the amount so we have leftovers, so we only have to cook like every now it is like we cook one day and we eat leftovers the next day. Um I think it was Green Goddess Bulgur Bowls. It was essentially bulgur wheat, which is kind of like a barley, with um, uh, spiced roasted chickpea and shallot on top, with a cucumber salad and feta cheese. Delicious. We ate the entire cucumber salad yesterday, so we just had the chickpeas and, uh, and uh, wheat, but it was great. Spring foraging? Okay, huge. Easy. Forest, forest bundle? Moss? Is moss new? I feel like I've never seen moss before. Okay, moss is new. I'm glad I'm not crazy. Wild medicine bundle. How much shit did you... Work on haunted chocolatier. What are you doing? <laughs> it's on trees? That's crazy. Moss, finally some good freaking food. True. I... Here's something, chat. I know the whole, like, touch grass meme. If you've never stood barefoot in, like, healthy moss, like, healthy riverside moss, stand barefoot in it. I promise you, it is one of the most comfortable, soft things you can ever stand on. Ah. <sighs> When I was a kid, I collected moss. Dope. To be fair, I'm a barefoot guy. I like if I'm not if I'm not going somewhere, I'm not putting shoes on. Backyard, front yard, driveway, I'm barefoot. I'm I just I'm more comfortable that way. I feel more connected to the earth. Carpet feeling? It's like nature's carpet. 
Clay! Fuck. Leak! I'm a shoe hater. Fair. Same. What was the last thing in the bundle? Spring onion? Isn't there like a patch of spring onions in the woods? Have to wear shoes because you have dogs? Skill issue. Look better. <laughs> um, I'm really tempted to get there's a brand of shoes that have like a like a, 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 a they have a sole and it's like it's thick enough that you won't get hurt but it's as thin as possible so it feels like you're barefoot and I kind of want them that's fair Susanna You find jeans comfy, Sky Mallory? I've cracked the code. Doesn't matter what gender identity you are, what sh shape or size you are. The most comfortable clothing. $5 pajama shorts. Holy shit. Half of my pants are $5 pajama shorts. They are so comfortable. Spring onion! Is that all of them? Oh wait, we don't need daffodils, we need dandelions. Right? Yeah. Well, luckily, I saw a dandelion on the way down. You told me you love daffodils. And endless as the stars that shine. Fuck, my throat hurts too much. I'll, I'll give... I will gift a sub or membership. If anyone in chat can name me the musical that's from. Because I guarantee you, none of you fuckers know what song that is. Oversized shirts, huge, yeah. I I'm big into oversized stuff. When it comes to pajama pants, you prefer to go past your ankles and step on it or be at your ankle. I don't want to step on it. I'm wearing some right now. I'm wearing pajama pants, but I'm not wearing uh, pajama shorts right now. Huge. Hades down? Nope. Spring seeds. I'm just gonna sell those. Um, okay. Holy shit, Digiwo! Well, goddamn, called me out on my bluff. Okay, the baby woke up. I'm gonna try to get him to go back to sleep because it's early. Um, but when I get back, remind me because I, I got I owe uh, a membership. Because somebody actually recognized that musical and I'm actually really happy. Because, fun fact, Big Fish is my favorite musical. Anyway, uh, I'll be back.
Were y'all firing up a storm while I was gone? Y'all were farting? Bunch of farters in chat. We are back. I honestly have no idea for how long. Uh, obviously, it took me a while to get back. It's because he is upset. Because uh, he's got... I think he got my allergies. Because he's very snotty. You can hear it, and you can hear it in his throat. Um, so I, I gave him some baby Tylenol. Um, sucked out them boogers. And put him back to sleep. But it took a while because he's kind of uncomfortable. So... I will play until the baby wakes up because I have a feeling it'll be within the hour. Within the next, like, hour worth of playing the game. That being said, um, the tomato and sc screen clean, I'm gonna have to do manually because I need to, I need to use my phone. And my phone is what lets it happen automatically. I mean, stream might go on for a while, but I don't think so. Huge. Um, honestly, how much is the bag again? 2000 Not worth. I mean, worth, but not right now. Let's add a new row. So this would be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, shit, did you well? Thank you for the reminder. I asked for a reminder for that reason. Right toasty gifted Digiwoa a Twitch subscription. Right toasty gifted a tier one sub to Digiwoa. Um, did you actually know it, or did you Google it? I am curious. I already gave it to you, so it's, it's, it, it's not like I'm gonna take it away. But I am very curious if you actually recognize the Big Fish musical, or you just Googled musical song about daffodils. <laughs> you Googled it? Yeah, I figured. I should have put a stipulation, that's my bad. It is genuinely my favorite musical, though, so if anyone hasn't heard the Big Fish musical, give it a listen, it's pretty good. It's not about daffodils, uh, but the song was about daffodils. Because it's like the favorite flower of the girl he loves. Well, you know what time it is. Got a lot of energy and it rains, so it's time to tree. You know, I never actually watched the movie. I just really love the musical. I'm sure I'd like the movie. I just never watched it. I mean, so is the musical, so that makes sense. Part of the reason I like it so much is the... Um, Edward Bloom is played by Norbert Leo Butts, which is one of my favorite guys on Broadway to ever do it. Uh, if you've listened to the original Wicked cast, he was Fiero. If you'd listened to probably the best Last Five Years soundtrack, he's the guy in the Last Five Years. I think Jamie is the name. He just got a very nice voice. Have a good night, Pex Max. I keep meaning to listen to Epic. 
I have not gotten around to it yet. Jamie, yeah. By the way, last five years, another banger musical. Um, Jamie is a piece of shit, though. <laughs> I love whenever I hear, like, dudes be like, Yeah, Jamie's an asshole and all, but so is... Oh, God. What's her name? Kathy. But so is Kathy. It's like, no, they're not to the same level of bad. Like, sure, Kathy is a bit dismissive and blames when she shouldn't. But Jamie cheats on her multiple times. Like, <laughs> Jamie's an asshole. That's the point of the last five years is that Jamie is a bad person. Don't be defending him because he's your fave. Yeah, that's the main reason I know about Epic is I follow the creator on TikTok. So I remember seeing the TikToks of him like making like writing the musical. I've just yet to actually listen to the album. Stir fry, huge. Mine's open yet. We got shit to do. I need mayonnaise makers and a silo stat. Alright, no worries, Digiwo. Have a good one. Mine's open day five? Alright, we're doing that today. Would have done it yesterday if I knew. For whatever reason, I always assume that when the mine opens, um... I'll know by walking into town. I forget that I have to walk all the way up to be, like, notified. Gold egg, huge. Stardew Valley is one of those games where I play it and I'm like, it is technically a calming, relaxing game, but the way I play makes it such a stressful, like, break now. Like, I, my wife never believes, she's never played Stardew, and she doesn't believe me when I'm like, oh yeah, this game is like one of the most fast-paced, stressful games I've ever played. She's like, what the fuck do you mean? Look at it. I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. If you want to be a money maker, this game is so stressful.
Exactly. It's all about that profit mindset, grind set. You you see me, Nick, too. To the mines. So we back in the mine. Trying to complete the community center year one is something I'm never going to do. It's way too stressful. Alright, yeah, whatever. We've listened to enough cutscenes. Thank you for the sword. Uh, expect probably two working streams tomorrow. One in the early day, like one early and one late. Uh, cause I got a lot of work to do and not much else is going on today. Mainly cause, uh, today, it, today was kind of busy. I have not much else going on tomorrow. How early? I don't know why I read that as the horse meme, the how hungry. Um... Probably like 10 or 11 a.m. PS or EST. I ideally, I'd work earlier, but I have a feeling that mo the morning is going to be rough with the boys. The the grandma does get arrested in game. That's crazy. Enjoy that shiny, shiny feel. Oh, geode, huge. <coughs> Wood club? Wood club already? Damn, we really do have streamer luck today. Like, the day one fairy and the wood club. That's crazy. Did we see a ladder here? No? Okay. Honestly, 10 copper by floor 3 is also kind of crazy lucky. Geode. Uh, I mean, 1.6 so far, we haven't seen that much, but we did start a new farm, so that's probably why. Um, but I'm excited. We did find moss. Well, we haven't found moss yet. We just know moss exists. We've been met with the promise of moss. Huge. Please tell me. We get a ladder from killing something. That would be huge. All right, we got to Yeah, all right, we just got to leave. Damn. Okay. Not enough energy. Almost. So we will leave the mine. Didn't quite make it to floor 5, but we'll try tomorrow. This task a grueling one.
My throat hurts so bad, y'all. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to record tomorrow morning. Probably just take a hot shower and hope that hope for the best. Drink some tea right beforehand. Uh, Alright, now we need the mining chest. Okay, 100 stone. So now we just need the 5 copper. And the clay. The clay! The clay. Okay, so this is going to be our... Do that. I'll leave stone, but everything else is coming with me. Okay. I do have some algae and seaweed. I guess I should have brought that. Oh, we're out of energy. Cherry bomb. Huge. What do the different color chests indicate? Uh, it's my way of organizing it for now. I can showcase it. What's up, Clint? Thank you for the recipe for a furnace. Uh, the darkest chest is for, like, ore and stuff we get from the mines. The blue chest is for fish stuff. Green is for food stuff. And silver is for tools and resources. And base resources. Oh yeah, well is actually pretty easy to get. I forgot about that. Parsnip day! Huge. And potatoes! Huge day. Do we have the pan- do we have the pantry? Okay, spring crops. Carrot! Are carrots new? Where the fuck do I get a carrot? Rare crops kind of sucks, but whatever. Summer squash? How much did you add, you crazy motherfucker? Hey, Jones, going pretty well. Alright, so... 20... 26 seeds we need to go buy. Worms on the ground have carrot seeds? Heard. Thank you very much. Go buy 26 seeds. Actually looks a little different from normal worms. Interesting. Pantry. Carrot. So we're one away from that. Fish should probably be on the docket as well of things we have to start doing. Let's go look for some worms because Pierre's doesn't open until like 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. I feel like it's 9 o'clock, but I'm going to double check. clock heard look for worms 
Worms. Worms. Beach worms? Remember beach worms? Those fucked up snake looking things from Australia? Worm! Worm! Two clay is huge. Hold on, does this still work? What was it? One, two, three, up. I fucked it. I fucked it. Alright, whatever. I thought it was something like that. If it was one more, then it would be here. I don't remember. That actually did? Okay. How am I supposed to get clay then? That was the only consistent way to find clay. I always find clay? Alright, well some of us can't be Martian Arrival, okay? Some of us are strugglers. I need 26 seeds. Needless to say, I can't get cauliflowers. Can we have four potatoes? I guess I could just parsnip again. Sure. Oh, we can we can just replace what we got. That's huge. And then we'll get money tonight. Awesome. Sounds like a skill issue, true. Vortex underscore hey, gaming you know, three oh just hard. followed on Twitch. Clay, though. I mean, I'm making progress to 10. How many, Don't I need, like, 20? 20, 20 copper ore for a furnace is criminal. It's like I'd rather have the four bars, Clint. So I have about enough water for half of my crops, which isn't terrible because I walk by my chickens to refill. So it's a good system for now. Honestly, I might just buy more chickens. We can have we can have four in a coop this size, right? Two more chickens ain't a bad idea. My back is starting to get stiff. <laughs> I'm so tired today. Honestly, crisscross, I could use it. Might be able to, I'll, you know, I'll put my back to the microphone, see if you guys can hear my back crack. Did it pick that up? loud as fuck for me. It was one of those that goes up the spine. 
I guess I should have turned down the music first. Are any of you familiar with formication? No, but I'm familiar with fornication. You can ask your mother. We did it last night. Fucking got him. <laughs> I couldn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. It was right there. Wait, I can eat eggs? I can just eat an egg straight up? Wait, hold on. Fuck eating eggs. Field snacks. Huge. Let's go mining. Let's go back to the mine. Keep our eyes peeled for weird ground worms. Got our wooden club smashing on the ground. Ground, ground, ground. Um. Once we have once we have cauliflower, Maru, we'll start flirting, flirting. Cause baby tonight The creepers got us falling in I don't remember the actual words I only remember th the first verse Was it the creepers gonna steal our stuff again Or something stupid like that Huge And the right click on this is great for these early levels. Ooh, sneakers. Plus one defense, huge. Oh, sweet fucking converse, okay. The copper ore is going crazy, which is huge. Cherry bomb? Sure. Uh, I don't need two sap. I got plenty already. Let's get some stone, shall we? Fair enough, obnoxious. Get some sleep. Huge. Yeah, the mine can get very dark if you don't have lights. It's only 6.30, let's eat a field snack. Oh. 
crazy. Crazy. I get those crates though. It's kind of it too. Uh, yeah, I'd rather wood than sap. Mainly here for copper and clay. So everything else is kind of like a bonus. Huge ladder. It's hell of a lot easier than catching one. Uh, Alright, fuck the wood. I don't actually know what Don't Mind at Night sounds like. I do unironically hold that the Minecraft parody of Viva La Vida actually did a great job at replicating that and, all, and is similarly a very good sounding song. I heard it was easy to catch crabs, not if you're playing it safe. are going crazy. Oh, hello, copper. Oh, is that carrot seeds? Oh, fuck bug meat. This is huge. We'll get plenty of bug meat. I'm not worried about that. Guys, we're kind of fucking gaming. Holy shit. Streamer luck is real. Alright, 10.30. We're going to bum rush for an exit. I want to try to get to 10. Fuck your cave care. We're looking for an exit. Exit? Say less. thrown out. Oh, I don't want to throw out any of this. 14 slime is easy to to get back. The club? What do you mean? I love the club. The club is so good. Like, dagger is good, but I really like our club. Ready to see some gaming? And by gaming, I mean sorting my inventory as fast as possible.
huge. Mayonnaise machine is huge. We have so many eggs. What do I need to make it though? Oh man, that kind of sucks. Luckily we have an earth crystal and Gunther can get the next one. We have plenty of earth crystals. Chat, the big bucks begin today. Three spots, perfect for a carrot. Oh, I have two carrot seeds. Look at that, two spots, perfect for a carrot. Oh, I only had the one earth crystal, damn. I'll leave those in my inventory so I can make copper while I'm doing farm shit. Drink the mayo? True, I guess we should. We do need, I think it was five bars for the silo, along with ten clay. I think clay is the only thing we need now. And we, I think we need like four clay and we can get a silo. It's a really fun game dedicated. I highly recommend it. It builds upon itself in a very satisfying way. Gunther to get his own earth crystal, right? They're easy. I say that, but we're going right back into the mines today. After we buy some more chickens and four seeds. Honestly, just because I'm... No, we sold our wild seeds. Damn it. Okay. Because now we just need clay, which is huge. Pet the kitty. mayonnaise we gotta drink the first one we gotta we now can we can now do it chat we're drinking the mayonnaise this is what it's all for the rest of her profit what's the first tool you should upgrade it's gonna sound like a cop-out answer but just upgrade the one you use the most Why are you drinking the instruments? I couldn't help myself. Honestly, 50 energy is pretty fucking good. Especially this early. how much a chicken is. Hopefully it's not a thousand. I don't think so. 
Probably like 500, maybe? Hi, Emily. Wait, Dedicated Barney, I need my TV just followed on Twitch. Maybe the follow dedicated. Marnie, I need to... Ma Marnie! Marnie, I need to buy chickens. What? You're closed on Tuesdays? You bitch. How dare you slightly inconvenience me? That was guttural. I tried, I did, I tried to not call her a, a bitch. I, I, it just kind of came out. <laughs> that was my real emotion there. There's my chickens tomorrow. Whatever. It's not even that she's closed early. She's just closed for the day. Oh, wait, it's Tuesday. They're all doing Pilates. Damn it. Do Pilates another time. I need fucking... I need my chickens. Um... I don't have a lot of food. So we're taking the seaweed and algae with us to the mines. I accidentally unplugged my headphones and everything got fucked. I got a lot for you guys too, that's crazy. Why is the sound not working anymore? Game? Hello? Alright, I guess after this day we'll close and reopen and we'll just have we'll just have quiet Stardew Valley mine time. I would save and quit, but I don't want to redo all the planting and shit that I just did. Ooh. Also, if you're hearing shushing or music in the background, it's because I have the baby cam on. I I'm keeping the sound on so I can make sure I hear him if he gets upset. I hate those white flying bugs. Probably my least favorite mob. Hate watching them hatch. Well, kill them. Don't let them. Ali underscore cat 99 cheered dex 100 hey, bits. Thank you for it's time for very, bed. Very good night, everyone. All right, have a good night. Thank you. That's very, very kind. It's very awkward with no music. So lesson learned, don't unplug my headphones. Goddamn. It made everything really loud and then everything really quiet. It's quiet. Too quiet. Copper. Coal cart. Coal cart. We love coal cart.
coal. Coal, I feel like, is one of the hardest resources to get in this game. And it, you always need it. Damn bugs stole our sound. So it's getting very hell divers all of a sudden. All right, Gunther can have this one. <sighs> I'll eat some algae and gun. Oh wait, algae is for the medicine bundle. I mean, we'll get more, but I probably should have kept that. I forgot it's for the medicine bundle because I don't usually have the medicine bundle. Remix bundles be like. Five PM making good time. Probably get to twenty tonight. Bro, turn around. Grab that. Ooh, earth crystal. No, that means more mayonnaise. Man, fuck bug meat. All my homies hate bug meat. Now we just gotta find a way out of here. I knew they wouldn't let us get out easy. My next buy might be backpack, because you're right. Having just one bar is terrible, especially in the mines. You, Cretan, die. You, Cretan, die. Ooh, yeah, I can use a cherry bomb real quick. Just hit it with one of these. There's a lot of rocks. Here should be a good bang from a buck. Nice. Backpack as a first upgrade is not a bad idea. I would definitely upgrade your backpack before any of your tools, as far as money is concerned. Damn it, it took too long. Just looking for more copper before we leave, or more quartz. Hello, so many, so many ladders on this level. Many ways we can go. Man, fuck that floor. Let's see if we can actually get to 20. Chat, we can now collect bug meat. This is huge. Ready for the combo? Hello? What is that? Monster Compendium? Monsters have a small chance to drop tr double loot? What? 
That's crazy. That's new. That's awesome. Yes, please. Right small update adds two tabs onto the inventory screen of new stuff. Like, come on, my guy. You don't know what a small update is. All right, it's 11. Let's get back. Oh, my inventory's full. I was like, ooh, thing. Can't pick it up. We will make... Uh, we'll, we'll throw copper in a furnace, make a new mayo machine, set two mayos to go, and go to bed and restart the game so we can hear. Oh, my inventory's full. Hold on. Honestly, get that going early. What was the recipe for you? Wood. Sell some mayo. And seven copper bars. Doing great. Good day. Good day. Sturdy ring. Huge. Bug steak. Okay, bug meat is officially kind of good. All right. Let's see if we can get sound back, yeah? It doesn't seem safe to have two burning furnaces flush against your wooden house. I didn't know I had a narc in chat. Fucking narc. What's the uh, the Trolls 3 audio that's been going around? Who's the Dolty McMahon face? The better question is, are you a narc? Okay, I fixed it, but now the game's loud as hell. As you can hear. It's loud for me too, so I'll fix it. In I'll fix it in game. That did nothing. Oh my god, this is at a four on my volume slider. This game is so loud. Is Concerned Ape deaf?
Parasite for. And one potato. Huge. So, five crops. We'll pick that up on our circle. We can't pick up crops because Pierre is closed today. Whatever. Marnie's probably still close to start watering. Marnie probably opens at what, like 8, 9 o'clock? Surprised the baby is still asleep. We might be able to go on for another like half hour to an hour. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Darth, uh, hold on. Darth, Darth Thesbian, I believe? Um, I picked it up from watching speedrunners. They do that so they can check the TV and leave immediately. They put the bed and TV right up by the front door. 9 a.m. sounds right. I don't see salt, so salt might be inside. Here's salt, hiding in the grass. Honestly, the watering can is one of the things I upgrade last because I'm just so used to immediately uh, making sprinklers as soon as I can. You know what I mean? This was not here previously. Like, I guess if you don't want to make... We don't have any seeds. It's going to stay empty. Like, I, I guess if you don't want to prioritize sprinklers, I see it, but, like, why would you not want to prioritize sprinklers, you know? Bro, the mayo machine is churning. Is that already more mayo? No, okay. I thought I heard more mayo. Once we get a silo, we are so fucking set. Look at all this hay that we can collect. Just need like four more clay. I'm already. Animals, how much is a chicken? 800? We can buy one. Prut. 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 Huge. Prut. Um, supply shop. What else can we get here? Hay is 50. We've got hay for now. Exorbitant price, price for a chicken, though, to be real. Mayo better be worth it. Paprika is a good name, but I just love Stardew Valley randomized names. Because they're all so dumb. Like, prurt. Oh, we should talk to the fighting guys, huh? We don't have much in the way of food, which is concerning. I heard that baby cry, so we'll end the day whenever he wakes up, which might be soon. But... Also possible is he just did a cough. He did one. He he let out one 
Eh. So I don't know if that's a, I'm waking up or my throat hurts and I'm not happy. But he is motionless again, so I guess he went back to sleep. We'll see. Oh, I didn't slay 10 yet. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'll go slay. Let's slay. Chat, you heard him. We have to slay. Cherry bombs? Huge. Not as effective as I thought it would be. Really overestimating the blast radius of these cherry bombs. Earth Crystal! More mayonnaise! Amethyst, if we were dating Abigail, we could give that to her as a snack. She loves that. Eats the fuck out of that. Does what? Yeah, so there's a, a glitch that has remained there because Concerned Ape thinks it's funny. But uh, for whatever reason, when you give Abigail Amethyst, one of her possible responses is, Oh, how did you know I was hungry? So the meme has just been that she eats gems. Well, thank you, Dedicated. Have a good rest. I'll make sure to be nice and quiet and not scream randomly in the next, like, ten minutes or so. chat. Just remember, the Metal Pipe Redeem is 750 channel points. Keep some slime. Oh god, Mario Brian. Please. Be nice. If we can get four more bug meat, we can make a bug steak. Okay, I'm like, can we not go that way? If you, have, if you have anything with salt, you're more than likely a rock eater. True. Salt is very tiny rocks. Out of energy. Unless we can make a bug stake this floor. That's about it. short. Eleven? I think we can at least get this copper. Not gonna risk it. I was like, ooh, we might be able to get the other copper. No, not gonna risk it. Do not want to be exhausted this far. <sighs> this far out.
<sighs> a lot of leaks, which is nice. Not seeing the fucking worms. We just need a little more clay. Two earth crystals is crazy. You know what that means. Two more mayonnaise machines. my copper we officially have more eggs than we have mayonnaise machines huge day To stir fry. Hog shoe, me, me, me. So, how much is the mayonnaise actually getting us? A hundred and ninety gold per chat. Chat, we're gonna be swimming in mayo money. This is huge. When's the strawberries? Because I don't want to spend all of our money right before strawberries. $500 from our dad, let's go. We know where that is, so we can grab that too. Why is there a coal in there? Get in, get in there. I, I'll double check if we have like three or four days before the festival where we can get strawberries. I say we buy a bag and another chicken today because we can afford both, but it would make us flat broke. So I want to make sure we're not about to buy strawberries or anything. Cat redeem? Oh, that's why people are saying cat. Yeah, you guys aren't very helpful. You just say the word cat and expect me to know the fuck you're talking about. Right, well, Mario Brian, if you want to wait a second, I'm about to go grab a cat because somebody redeemed it. Pet the chicken. I don't know where... Here. Found him. Per. AKA the sound of fart makes. Go grab a cat. Mix it up, buddies. It's Casey.
All right, this might be the last day. One, it's late, and two, Baby is still asleep, but that's the second time he did a big cry, which makes me think he'll be waking up soon, and I'd rather us not get caught in the middle of a day when he wakes up. So we might just call it after this day, and then we'll go raid into somebody. I mean, we have been live for four hours, but to be fair, like, 40 minutes of that was baby. I don't know. It felt like 40 minutes. I don't actually know how long it took. Oh, shit. We got to give our cat water. I mean, we don't have to, but I feel bad. There we go. Clay, 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 clay. Damn it. We need clay. Head to the beach as well to look for some clay. So we're doing clay, axe. Oh, let's see if we're buying shit today. Is the egg festival when you can buy strawberries? I think it is. Okay. So we are not buying the bag today. Okay. Uh, that changes things a bit. Because I want to be able to buy every... I want to basically fill every plot besides our beans with strawberries. Because strawberries are goaded. Glass shards? Okay, well I guess I'll give that to Gunther while we're down here. I thought it was going to be, you know, clay, but well, whatever. Yeah, strawberries are the best early game, ga early game income by a long shot, especially if you can make a jam out of it. While we're down here, hey Gunther, I found some shards of glass on the beach. Do you want them? There's so much new shit got at it. Yeah, 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 that's why I'm here. Hey Gunther, I found some weird shards of glass on the beach. Here you go. Put them on display, you weirdo. Hi, Penny. The best music, not glass, shards of glass. Yeah, 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 there's a sewer. Marnie, I'm going to buy another chicken. Okay, and that should fill up our coop. Now for Robin's axe, which I believe is by where those spring onions were. Of. Hello. There it is. Can't believe we give away yummy shards of glass. True. Should have just ate them. Hey, Leah. I do know where to look. I happen to be a farmer. That is kind of my job. <laughs> There's a lot of f local food if you know where to look. I walk up chewing on shards of glass, blood coming out of my mouth. Yeah, I found some on the beach. Crunch, crunch, crunch.
Did we name the chicken? I don't remember naming the new chicken. Mezzo. Perfect. I am perfectly happy with Mezzo. Did I just like autopilot my way through that menu? <laughs> is good food. Found your axe. There you go. Money. To the mines. And our next earth crystal can go to Gunter. We've got four mayo machines, and until we can upgrade our coop, that's more than enough than we'll need. Talk to the Adventurers Guild? True! I forgot about them. What's up, weirdos? Kind of tempting, but I'm not going to buy this right before the, uh, right before the strawberries. Average farmer activity is true. Okay, now we do the mines. So we back in the mine. Yeah, we're not going to the club. We're not going to the club. And we're not at the club swinging. We've got our club and we're swinging it. Creeper. Oh man. It's a lot of bug meat up there. Ooh, earth crystal. Huge. You. Rip crisscross, best of luck to you. I know those can be rough. Huge. Honestly, I think I usually do pickaxe first. Just because the mine is so important for so much stuff. This one bar of items is rough in the mines. Honestly, it's that shit that probably makes me hate these guys so much. Okay, so there's- oh, hello. I 
I swore there was copper, but I might have already. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Got it. That backpack, though. Oh, well, yeah, backpack first. I don't even count backpack as like a tool upgrade, just because like it's so useful. So backpack first, then pickaxe. Exit, huge. Might as well explore since we have the energy. Wonder if it's possible to get two exits to block a hallway and then you just can't go anywhere. Because you can go further down, so it's not like it's a soft lock, but it'd be very funny if there's just like some good shit on the other end and you just can't get there. Uh we should probably get a race shoot. While we're here. No coal. Sad. I just realized I haven't gotten any coal on this run through, which kind of sucks. But we do have a lot of coal, so I'm not super worried. Just a little rough. Alright, let's get to 20. I gotta know. Is one rock all the way by itself? Okay. Could you imagine if that was the exit? I think it's typically in the exit, like in the center. But I am a little scared of getting to the center and it not being there. Because it is... Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, cool. We can just run. We'll run to the center, loot, and leave. Can't hear you, it's too dark in here. True. Ladder. Let's get this shit first, though. Maybe a mistake because it's 1120, but I'm, I'm nothing if not greedy. Honestly? Fuck a ray shoot. Cave carrots. Fuck a cave carrot. Carrot carrots. Um. Once again, slime is very easy to come by. We've yet to bring slime back because it just keeps getting voted off for cooler shit. We gotta run, chat. It is midnight. Run. Run, your little ass. Go, go, go. We're zooming, chat. We're zooming. Twelve thirty. 2 a.m. you pass out, right? Not 1 a.m.? Or is 1 a.m. pass out? God, I hope it's 2 a.m. If it's 1am, we're fucked. 2am? Oh, thank god. Take a breath. Drop this off. Oh, it's 2am. Sorry. 
Couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself, chat. Huge. What a day. Nine eighty, and almost all of it's from our fucking mayonnaise production. We have so much money from mayonnaise. Meadowlands is such a goaded farm for early game. All right, the bookseller is in town today. We'll find out what that is next week, because, like I said, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Let's talk in the bakery. Like guys, oh shit! Hold on. Like I said, it's been a long stream, and I'm worried my baby's gonna wake up at any moment. And I'd rather not be in the middle of a Stardew Valley day when he does. So I'm just gonna go and uh, help him. So essentially, what we're gonna do, in case this is the first time you're hanging out, first of all, I want to thank everybody for hanging out for a great stream. Uh, we're going to raid somebody. So if you've never done one of these before, if you're new to Twitch or you are on YouTube and you've never been on Twitch, raiding essentially means that we're going to take this lovely chat that we've got going right now and shift it over to somebody else. Um, spreading the love, spreading the community, all that good stuff. Let me see who's live. Uh, so the stream is ending, but we're all going to hop into somebody else's chat and hang out. Is there anybody I'm following who's streaming right now? Um, I don't actually know. Am I following anybody who's live right now? Uh, no. Okay, well then, what if I... Is anybody playing a FNAF game that we can just drop a bunch of people on? Actually, let's go Stardew. Who's playing Stardew Valley? Let's keep the vibes going. But yeah, probably two working streams tomorrow. Um, just because I got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> and uh, we'll be playing Kitty Kart 64 on Friday, which I'm very excited for. It's weird to raid somebody I don't actively follow. I think it's just because I stream too late. If I stream past 1 a.m., all the people I follow already stop streaming. Nightmind is live? Sure. Is that Nick Nocturne? Yeah, that's Nightmind. Yeah, sure. Nightmind's cool. I mean, he's been live for seven hours, so there's a good chance he's about to end, but we'll raid him. Why not? All right, so uh, if you're on YouTube, hop over to Twitch if you want to join the raid. If you're, in the, if you're on Twitch, just stick right here. We're going to all hop over. When we get there, let me get a raid message for us. I'll use a follower emote so you don't even have to be subbed to be able to use it. This will be the raid message. When you get over there, say this like once or twice, pop in, you know, the usual. But I'm going to get to bed. So, uh, good night, everybody. I'll see you over in Nightmind's stream. And, uh, you know, stay toasty. Uh, have a good night.